Welcome to Larry King Now, our special guest, Nikhil Hausman. You know him from his roles on such shows as Game of Thrones, Orphan Black, and Nashville. And now he's back on TV with Discovery Channel's first ever scripted miniseries, Harley and the Davisons, about the founders of the iconic motorcycles. Its three-night premiere begins Monday, September 5th on Discovery. Thank you for coming. Thank Harley you for Dav- me. It's amazing that no one's ever done anything I know. on Harley Davidson before. And it's such a great story. And you play Mr. Davidson. I play Walter Davidson. Who was Harley? Uh, who was Harley? Bill Harley. So one of, the, one of the surprises for me, and probably also for part of the audience, is that Harley Davidson was not one guy. It was Bill Harley, who was the, the, the design genius, basically, and a couple of Davidson brothers. And this is a story that takes place in the uh, 1900s in Milwaukee. And um, um, we cover the first 30 years. So 1900s all the way up until the 1930s. Did the motorcycle precede the Ford car? No, they were all kind of playing. Together? Uh, yeah, all in the same time. And the Ford car actually uh, really quickly was a- way ahead of the game and motorcycles were trying to catch on. And um, it proved very hard to, to build a motorcycle. At first they thought of it as more as a uh, m- uh, motor bicycle. The problem was with, a, with the bicycle was that the frame was so small that the engine had to be small to fit in, but it had to be powerful enough to, to push the, the rider, right? Uh, proved very hard. Whereas on a car, you had a little bit more space for an engine, you know? What, what I mean? attracted you to this? Um, well, first of all, I was dying to ride uh, 100-year-old Harley Davidsons. I'm a motorcycle enthusiast, oh. so that was a treat. You got to ride it. Yes, I rode every bike you see on our show. <laughs> it was really <laughs> amazing. Um, but secondly, Walter Davidson turned out to be an amazing character to play. He, Why? or at least in our story, he really embodies the spirit of the company. He's a little bit of a rebel. He's a little bit of an anti-establishment kind of guy. And um, that kind of sort of bled into what the company became to stand for, you know, or at least the motorcycle. What made it, and you're still an enthusiast, why is Harley Davidson the best? <laughs> I mean, it certainly image is the best. I don't know if it's the best, but yeah. I assume it's the best. Well, it's, 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 it's definitely iconic. And, um, I mean, there are many reasons, but one of, the, one of the things that makes them stand out is the fact that they actually survived all those years and they're still family-owned. And uh, there, there used to be a lot of motorcycle manufacturers in the United States, and Harley-Davidson was not the first one. But they're the only one that survived. And it fam- speaks for itself. Yeah. It's still family owned. Yeah, yeah. They, they sold it at some point and then they actually bought it back. <laughs> <laughs> what but t- that was later in. Later in, in, in like this is 70s. historic for Discovery, right? This is their yes. first scripted series. Yes, yes. I believe they, have, they might have had another adventure into, uh, into some form of drama, but it is the first one that I am aware of, really, yes. What took you from the Netherlands to the United States? Um, another HBO show prior to Game of Thrones, I worked on David Simon's uh, Treme, which was about New Orleans. And uh, it brought, it shipped me straight from Amsterdam to New Orleans. And uh, I fell in love with that city. I lived there for seven years. Um, and. Uh, at first, when I was trying out as an actor here in the United States, it was always like maybe at some point I have to go back, you know, to Holland. Um, but now I feel like, you know, I can be... You're American. Like, yeah. Where do you live, L.A.? I actually just moved. Uh, we just left New Orleans, unfortunately, and we moved to New York, which is also very exciting. We is uh, your wife? We is my wife and our, our nine-year-old daughter. Well, how'd you learn English? <laughs> Where'd you learn? Um... Well, in school, and, and, but probably even more by watching English and American movies as a kid. But when, when I moved to the States seven, eight years ago, I really still sounded like this. This is what the way I used to sound. This is <laughs> what I think a Dutch accent sounds like. So I had that, like, 
re professionally removed by a really talented dialect coach, whom I still work with. So you're course. speaking in your coach's language now? <laughs> Yes, this is what we think of as a, as a, like a, sort of like a general American sound. You've had nothing but hit TV shows, right? Nothing but hit TV shows. How no, do you explain that? Have you had a failure? No. no, maybe not recently. I've been very lucky, I think. Uh, what's, fans most know you from what, Game of Thrones? Yeah, I think so, yeah, because Game of Thrones is, is 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 definitely the biggest and the most popular of all the shows I've ever worked on. But it's funny that whenever people come up to me, which doesn't happen all the time, but when they do, I, n I can never tell what show it is that they'll be referring <laughs> to. I'm really bad at, at, at judging that. Back to the Harley Davidson, then the name of the series is Harley and the Davidsons, yes. right? Of course, there are two. Exactly. The Davidson exactly. family. So this, yes. you play your brothers in it, the Davidson yes. brother? Yes. So um, we highlight Bill Harley and my younger brother, Arthur Davidson, and, uh, and myself. My, my character is Walter Davidson. Yeah. And what's the drama? And first of all, Harley is the son of British immigrants. The Davidsons are are come are from Scottish descent, so these are young men that are trying to carve a little slice of the American dream for themselves. I think um, so. So the first struggle is probably to try and find their 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 forte or their their thing, which ends up being a motorized bicycle. Do they get along? Yeah. They are, they are neighborhood friends, especially Arthur and Bill, who are a little younger than my character. At the, at the, they, they are longtime friends. And they, the, 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 the main problem is just they need some form of transportation to get to their favorite fishing spot. <laughs> oh, really? And that's kind of like one of the thing, one of the reasons why they started tinkering with, with, with an engine in a bike. Are there still Harleys and Davidsons living? Yes, yes, there are. Those yes. still families? And I believe the Dav mostly the Davidsons are, are still active in the company. I'm not sure about the Harleys, though. McKeel on his newly minted status as a romantic lead. And he plays a little game of if you only knew. That's our Game of Thrones. Don't go away. We're back with McKeel Hausman. He'll star in Harley and the Davidsons, the founder of the iconic motorcycle story. It's a three-night premiere. It begins Monday, September 5th on Discovery. Why do you love New Orleans? Um, it's funny, I, uh, when I was probably 11, 12 years old, I'd saved up enough money to buy my first album. And I went to a store and I found this album that had a cover with these, these guys on it and just looked really cool. And I asked the guy behind the counter, like, who is this, what is this? And he's like, well, that's the meter, so it's, it's okay, it's good. And I checked it out and I, I have been listening, listening to that my entire life. And the meters are like one of the quintessential New Orleans bands. So even before um, working on Treme and moving to New Orleans, I always had this idea about New Orleans and I wanted to go there and I always thought it was gonna be a trip, but then I ended up living there actually. It's amazing. Brad Pitt says the same thing. Yeah. It gets into you. All right, Game of Thrones, will you be back for season seven? We'll have to wait and see. You don't know? Well, I know. But I, I just don't want to spoil Why is anything. it so secret? Oh, it's just a, it's a really secret thing. Why is that show so popular? Um, I, I think it's really well made and very well written. And um, um, HBO understands that in, instead of thinking, okay, now we have something that works and let's let we, they, they understand that they need to continue to invest in it and again and again and um, maybe that's it. I hear it keeps you building, a, you know what I mean? Uh, I hear you had a great love scene, huh? Yeah. Thanks. You, is, is season seven the last season? Uh, no, they've just announced that they're going to do seven and eight, but they're going to be shorter seasons. So we don't know if you're in season, it's that secret that we don't even know if you're in it. Yeah, but because they, you know, at the end of season six, um, I'm left behind. So it's sort of a, like a cliffhanger. And that's kind of the point. Okay, <laughs> I get it. You have a background in music too, right? You were yeah. a lead singer and guitarist mm -hmm. for a band in the Netherlands. 
That's you, true. You still play? I do, yeah. And sometimes I'm lucky enough to combine both things with, you know, acting and playing. You play, in, you play at clubs? Um, no, not, not at the moment, but I did. Yeah, for a long time I, I, was, I was juggling both careers until I realized I'm an actor. <laughs> Oh, we're going to play a little game of If You Only Knew. I just throw questions at okay. you, Nikhil. Strangest fan encounter. Oh, uh, well, that's always when, when people think they recognize you and they think you're someone, something else. You're someone else. Oh, really? They come yes. up to you and think you're someone else? Yeah, 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 yeah. Proudest accomplishment. Being able to, to start my career all over again in the United States. Biggest piece of advice for your daughter. How old is she? She's nine. Get ready. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, do whatever you like. Secret talent. Ping pong. You're good. I think so. Best perk of being a celebrity. You know, these kinds of things, you know. Being here. Yes. Yeah, I understand that. Best, uh, what are you still dying, who are you still dying to work with? Oh, a lot of people. I'm, I, at the moment, I'm very much admiring Paul Dano. Yeah, well, he's some actor. I think so, too. Guilty pleasure. Hardware stores. What? Hardware stores. I like hardware hard stores? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like hardware stores. You like motorcycles, music, hardware stores? Yeah, but I'm not really that kind of a guy, but I know what it sounds like. It's... You, you like, see Ace Hardware, you run in. I would love to run in. <laughs> yeah. Car and, then, and then I end up buying, like, some things to There's it. a nice smell in hardware it's stores. It's like amazing smell. I don't know what that is. power tools and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what know. that is, though. Yeah. It's a certain characteristic you value most in others. Uh, generosity? What makes you cry? I rarely cry. I cried two weeks ago for the first time in 10 years. I had visited with Save the Children, a refugee camp in Jordan, a Syrian refugee camp. And after the visit, I was telling my wife and a couple of friends about it, and, and it just kind of overtook me. Wow. And my wife was like, whoa, that's the first time <laughs> since we got married. <laughs> Something on your bucket list. Um, uh, backpacking through China. Whew. If you could trade places with someone for a day, who would it be? You are a thoughtful person. Yeah, this is a hard Most people just answer these, but you oh, really think, hard you know, it's not Please, a court. Do you have anything else for me? No. If you were an actor, what would you Oh, no, no, okay. So if I can trade places with anyone, then, then it would be with, uh, you know, maybe with, um... Uh, Keith Richards. Really? Yeah, of course. Play with the group again. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you weren't an actor, what would you be? I would do something with uh, trees or coffee. Like, you know, trees? Or yeah, I like trees. I like coffee. I like <laughs> trees too. <laughs> what do people get wrong about Hollywood? Uh, that it's very glamorous. Not. No, it's very hard work. Yeah, early in the morning and all day, right? Yep. Tell me something people don't know about you. Um, I broke my leg in three places skiing when I was five. When you were five? Yes. A little young to ski. Yeah. Do you own a Harley? N not currently, no. They didn't give you one? I know, right? Maybe they don't have my address. Thanks, Mikhail. Thank you very much. My thanks to my guest, Mikhail Hausman. Harley and the Davisons begins its three-night premiere on Monday, September 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern, only on the Discovery Channel. As always, you can find me on Twitter at King's Things. See you next time.